Americans have been deported to the U.S. from Cambodia after being caught in a major police sting operation against pedophiles. The men are all alleged to have engaged in sex with children. Well, for more, I'm joined live by correspondent Elena Minkowski, who is in Washington, D.C. Over to you, Alena. Thank you. Well, these three men that have been arrested and brought back to the U.S. on the charges of traveling to another country to engage in sex with young children are the first to be apprehended under Operation Twisted Traveler, as they're calling it. Definitely a fitting name. But while the Department of Justice is congratulating itself on this catch, some people are saying they're still not doing enough. Investigative journalist Wayne Madsen says this is also highly practiced amongst high-level diplomats and military officials. And he's also saying that Blackwater, the private military contractor while in Iraq held man camps where they held young Iraqi children also for the purposes of prostitution. And he's here to discuss this with me today. Wayne, thank you for joining me. Now, first of all, where does the evidence come from? How do we know, how widespread is this practice really by military officials and diplomats? It's very widespread. I uh, took a trip to uh, Bangkok, Phnom Penh, P Pattaya, Thailand. Uh, this is a huge problem. It's known to the expat community uh, in Southeast Asia. Uh, we even have cases of congressional delegations going to Thailand and other Southeast Asian na uh, nations to, to partake of uh, these child prostitutes. In some cases, the trysts are arranged by the U.S. embassies. So are you saying then that the Department of Justice maybe is setting up these plots to capture these virtual no-names and at the same time protecting these diplomats? Well, for example, if the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok spent one-tenth of the time on tracking down high-level uh, diplomat pedophiles as it is in trying to get Victor Boot extradited to the United States, we may get somewhere in, in, in cracking this entire ring. This is a ring. The, there have been uh, incidents where uh, U.S. diplomats, uh, when they get in trouble in one capital, they're just quietly transferred to another capital, but one in Southeast Asia where they continue the practice. Uh, Brunei, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Bangkok, Dhaka, Bangladesh, which has a huge, problems, uh, huge problem with um, uh, these uh, child uh, prostitute hotels uh, are well, all attracting. I want to get yeah. to is, you know, diplomats or common folk, this is definitely something that's been going on for a very long time. Why did it take them so long to set up Operation Twisted Traveler all of a sudden? this became a concern? Well, we know, for example, the uh, State Department uh, Bureau of Diplomatic Security, uh, the Diplomatic Security Service was involved in this apprehension, but there's always the issue, since one of their people was actually apprehended in Phnom Penh, trying to bring two uh, uh, undocumented Cambodians back to the United States, it was covered up. We have a problem with tip-offs. Are, are the U.S. Embassy staffs in charge of twisted traveler tipping off potential targets? And that's a, that's an issue because this is such a problem within the U.S. diplomatic service. Yeah, it's very disturbing news. Thank you for joining us, Wayne, and back to you over in Moscow, Olga. Well, thank you very much, Alina, to you and to your guests.